हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ अजमल लॉ कॉलेज हो जाए थैंक यू फॉर क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस वीडियो एंड होपफुली इट टर्न्स आउट टू बी अ फ्रूटफुल वॉच फॉर यू आई एम मिस विदिशा गोगोए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ अजमल लॉ कॉलेज एंड टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक स्टॉकिंग इट्स ग्लोरिफिकेशन इन बॉलीवुड एंड इट्स सब्सिक्वेंट रामिफिकेशंस बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद द टॉपिक लेट अस फर्स्टली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्टॉकिंग Stalking can be said to be an obsessive compulsive behavior of an individual towards another wherein the former incessantly follows and spies on the latter it is a term which is synonymous with harassment and torment by a person who fanatically pursues someone the word stalking includes both physical as well as cyber stalking In this slide I have highlighted certain modes of stalking which include following the girl trying to communicate forcefully taking photographs spreading rumors etc Now let us look into the historical perspective of the offense of stalking The offense of stalking was not originally present under the list of offenses in the IPC However in 2013 Uh, by the criminal law amendment act stalking was identified as an offense under section 354d of the ipc now let us look into the provisions of section 354 ipc which defines stalking it states that any man who follows a woman and contacts or attempts to contact such women to foster a personal interaction repeatedly despite a clear indication of disinterest by such women or monitors the use by women of the internet email or any other form of electronic communication commits the offense of stalking the section further provides certain exceptions wherein perusal by a man won't amount to stalking if the man who pursues proves that it was pursued for the purpose of preventing or detecting crime and the man accused of stalking had been entrusted with the responsibility of prevention and detection of crime by the state or it was pursued under any law or to comply with any condition or requirement imposed by any person under any law or in the particular circumstance such conduct was reasonable and justified then it would not amount to the offence of stalking it provides for penalties it states that whoever commits the offence of stalking shall be punished on first conviction with imprisonment of a term which may extend to 3 years and shall also be liable to fine and on subsequent conviction the imprisonment term may extend to 5 years and shall also be liable to fine keeping in mind the main theme of this video let us now discuss about the industry of bollywood bollywood as we all know is the world's largest film industry it boasts of magnanimous budgets larger than life superstars and huge annual production of films right from its inception it is the only industry in india which enjoys mass popularity and following we live in a country where the saying that real life influences real life takes a whole new meaning in multifarious ways bollywood affects our social culture at large herein i would like to discuss and throw light on a very prominent movie which is rakesh om prakash mehra's rang de basanti this movie is a seminal point of cinematic history it influenced larger consciousness of the society and the audience were moved by its portrayal of a generation of young indian disillusionment with the system it sparked furious debate about the rights and wrongs of taking the law into one's own hand however it was unanimously acclaimed for its depiction of urban india's protest for a better country mere weeks after its release some of the movie's scenes played out in real life 
when all the accused in the Jessica Lal murder case were acquitted and newspaper headlines screamed no one killed Jessica, it shocked the upper class and media into organizing public protest of a type and scale which was erstwhile not seen in India. However, as we all know, there exist two sides of the same coin. Alcoholism, misogyny, patriarchy, and commodification of women are gifts given to us by the largest fraternity of film producers in the world. However, the most dangerous amongst them can be regarded to be the offense of stalking. Stalking in Bollywood is a very recurrent theme. It is an age-old Bollywood trope. The popular number, O Lald Patte Wali, Tera Naam To Bata, from the movie Aakhe, was the stalking song of the 90s. Many popular movies, such as Jeet, Dar, Darar, etc., centered around the topic of stalking. However, these movies maintained a semblance of moral compass because in these movies, the stalkers were not objectified as villainous, obsessed lovers rather than heroes. However, this compass she, uh, seems to have shifted in the last quarter. Few films such as Ranjana, Tere Naam, Rehna Hai Tere Dil Mein center around stalking. In many of these films, the stalkers torture the victims' lives due to their morbid infatuation before choosing their own passionate end. It is very ironical to see that the audience lap up the message of selfless love and it is to the credibility of the heroes that they can garner deep sympathy amongst viewers edging out the fact that stalking is a purely criminal act. The informal way in which stalking is regularly portrayed raises alarming questions. However, it is not the main problem. The main problem is that stalking is promoted as a heroic gesture. It is often dismissed as harmless and an innocent act, and yet it is harrowing and alarming to the victim. It is the victim who has to bear the brunt, move to a different place, change jobs, and sometimes even maybe their identities to evade the stalker. It is the duty of the entertainment industry as a whole to act responsibility. They cannot deny the fact that the youngsters, especially, are highly influenced by the cinematic platform. They not only are the world's biggest film fraternity, but they also play an important role in educating the society. In this aspect, the CBFC has a major role to play. They have to take into consideration as to what will affect the societal behavior of people. Stalking also gives forth to other crimes. It sets forth the pace for other forthcoming crimes. It is a precursor to other offenses. In one of the leading cases of stalking and rape, titled Priyamatu case, a young law student was raped and murdered by the son of a former IPS officer. Later, the offender was given life imprisonment by the Supreme Court in December 2010. In another case in 2016, that is, Sri Deobaja Bodake versus the state of Maharashtra, it was seen that the suicide by a woman was due to the reason that she was incessantly stalked. Now we shall look into various statistics as has been provided by the National Crime Records Bureau. In this visual depiction, we can see that stalking cases have doubled in the last four years. In 2014, 4,699 cases were registered, whereas in 2018, that is, in the latest report of the NCRB, it has been seen that 9,438 cases have been registered. Filmmakers often argue that freedom of expression and just portrayal of reality is required when they are questioned about the kind of movies they make. However, there exist various dissenting opinions within the film fraternity. South Indian actress Parvati Thiruvotu called out movies like the Telugu Arjun Reddy and stated that glorifying 
violence against women is not done. She made a clear distinction between portraying reality and glorifying it. However, on the other hand, noted filmmaker Subhash Kai states that they have shown in their films robbers and gangsters, but does that mean that they have inspired people to be one of them? These are thoughts to ponder upon. Now, in this slide, we have discussed upon certain suggestions and measures. Various sections of public, notably an NGO called Bear Breakthrough, have taken matters in their own stride. Breakthrough has been in the news for a petition to make it mandatory for scenes depicting and referencing all forms of violence against women to carry disclaimers and messages, both in cinema and on television. The petition to the Central Board of Film Certification and the in the, uh, Information and Broadcasting Ministry has garnered over one lakh signatures. Some people, however, opine that regular sensitization workshops with people in the film industry would have more of an impact rather than a disclaimer. However, the key word here is being regular. Lastly, I would say that Bollywood actors today are leveraging on their star appeal to affirm to various social commitments in various spheres. Perhaps it is time for them to use their power to condemn and refuse to essay roles that portray a pathology as love. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Looking forward to making more new videos.